بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب زدني علما so the next part we'll try to get into the uh, lab setup now the lab setup is little bit uh, different than the traditional routing labs what you do so what i'm going to do is i'm going to show you the quick lab setup what we are going to use okay now the first thing in my case if you see in order to test it out we need two gateways so in my case also i'm using the router 1 and the router 3 now these can be routers or it can be uh, l3 switches okay so i'm not getting into l3 switches right now i'll just go with a simple routing in the later on i'll i'll show you another lab where we will be using l3 switches and which is more typical uh, production scenario we can use that as well okay but actually it started with routers later on slowly the l3 switches replaced that so we'll stick to the routers to make it simple and to understand more easily then these two routers so we can use the routers either an iways image or iways v image or iwl image whatever the image you are comfortable with uh, i recommend you to use this iways v image uh, probably for the routers and the switches that's something uh, preferable or else you can just use an iways image as well like in my case i'll be using that two routers and the next thing i'm going to use isp1 and isp2 so technically in the lab as we are not connecting the real internet so i cannot get both the routers and get it done so instead i'm going to just keep it simple as one router the router 2 which will be acting as my isp router so both the isp1 as well as the isp2 and on the router i'll create some logical the loopback interfaces which will be simulating as if they are my internet routes so i don't have the real internet but at the end i'm going to add some uh, router either you can add the router or we can add the vpcs or any virtual machine so probably to make sure that the user sitting in the lan should be able to access internet from the primary gateway which is an active and what we'll do is we'll shut down this link or we'll shut down the router we'll do some changes uh, making sure that your primary goes down automatically i should see the switch over of the gateways that will be our end to end verification what we are expecting okay okay now to make this possible you can either use the evng or gns3 both the options are available so you can just go with any one i'll immediately go with the one which i already have right now so i do have this default topology which i generally use for routing labs i'll make the changes i just rename this so i'm going to make the changes and we'll try to adjust few things here okay so what we'll do we'll just keep it as it is so i'm going to delete a few of them so mostly as uh, some of the devices i'm going to remove and we need a router 1 router 2 router 3 we'll keep it as it is i'm not going to disturb them the router 1 router 2 router 3 so i just keep them as it is okay so these router 12 dot loopbacks i'm going to use them for my uh, as my internet so i'm going to just remove few things which are not required okay now the other thing i need i need some i need a switch from where i can connect so probably what i'm using is i'm going to use one switch here and i need some pcs in the lan okay so just ignore all these things so i don't need all these things here anyway i'll just keep them away and we need to have one uh, switch and in the to connect in the lan and i need some pcs so the next the subnet which i'm using here it's going to be 192.168.1. subnet a slash 24 and then the gateway address is going to be 192.168.1.100 that is a physical gateway and likewise i'm going to use another gateway 192.168.1.200 again and i need some pcs here so what i'll do is i'll add some pcs so now in terms of pcs we can either use a router the iways router any of these routers we can use or even there is an option where you can just use the virtual pcs uh, vpcs uh, the number of pcs you can just add any number 
we can just add three, four, or whatever you want. You can just add them. Okay. So like PC1, PC2, uh, PC3, PC4, we can add them. So these are not the real PCs. They just simulate as if there is a PC where we can assign the IP address and we can connect them and use it, uh, test it out just like a normal uh, normal computer. So, so I'm going to make them make the connection. So you can add any number of devices. So uh, minimum one is sufficient for testing. Uh, if you're doing load balancing or load sharing, then you might need multiple uh, devices to test it out how they actually go. But considering that, I'm going to add some PCs here. Okay. So the next thing, uh, we need to make sure that we have the connection here. So I'm going to use the connections uh, to the router. Now, which interface you are connecting, you need to remember because those are the interfaces what we are going to configure. Now, in my case, I'm going to use uh, G0 by 2 here, which is used here. And likewise, I'm going to use G0 by 2 here as well. Because already 0 by 0, 0 by 1 is already connected. Or I can change. I can remove and I can change those connections if I want. Uh, probably I'll keep the G0 by 0 here, okay? We'll remove these connections and we'll try to add G0 by 0 here. So I'll try to uh, adapt few interfaces. We'll try to connect D0 by 0. Okay, so already G0 by 0 is connecting to the LAN here. We'll remove those connections because the G0 by 0 interface is already connecting here. I think there was no need to remove because I, I should have removed only the LAN. So here you can see I'm using G0 by 0 here. So likewise, I'm going to connect G0 by 1, going to G0 by 1 here. And likewise, I'm going to use any interface. So there might be change in interfaces when you are doing the connectivity. You need to adjust the IP addressing as per that. Now we have this connection. So I'm going to start these three routers and we'll do the initial configurations. Now coming back to the initial configurations here, now the initial configuration wise, we need to make sure that we assign the basic IP addressing as per the topology. And then we need to configure the default routes. Default routes, because the, the goal is here, we have 192.168.1.1 should be able to reach out the internet. So on both the routers, we'll be configuring the default routes. So the default route will ensure that any unknown packet goes to the uh, internet. That's what we'll be doing here. And likewise, there will be a static, there should be some kind of uh, reverse routing, a static route for the packet to come back. Because when we generate the pings, we expect the ping reply should go and come back, right? So uh, typically, I'm not using in NAT. In the real scenarios, you will be using NAT, which will translate the private to the public IPs. So probably I'm going to use this NAT scenario in the multi-layer switches lab where I'll be using later on. Okay, so I'm not getting into that. I'll just keep it simple without any NAT, uh, simple routings, uh, static and default routings. And finally, at the end, when I try to ping, I should be able to reach out the internet. That's what the end result for this configuration. Okay. Now for this, to make this possible, we make sure that we start the routers. Router 1, we already started the routers. I'm expecting the console. And likewise, I need to open up the console screen of the router 2 as well as the router 3. So let's get back to the uh, console screens. So I'll start with the router 1 configurations. Now, the router 1, if there are specific configurations, if already exist, I'm not going to disturb that. This G0 by 1, this, this one is G0 by 1. Uh, it's already connected, so I'm not going to disturb that, which is connecting to 1.1.1.2, that is router 2. Of course, the interface names are different here. I'm not bothered about the WAN connection. So the difference is the G0 by 0 interface is connecting to my LAN. So if you are using the same routing, the same topology as I used in my routing labs, if you are done, so probably you will see there are some few adjustments I, I did to make this to run. So I'm going to use the gateway addresses like uh, F0 by 0. Now here it is not F0 by 0 because nowadays most of the interfaces you get G0 by 0 interfaces. 
So this is G0 by 0 and this is G0 by 1. The same way this is G0 by 0 here. This is G0 by 1. Okay. So two interfaces are configured to make sure that we have the correct IP addresses. And the second thing, I'm going to configure the default route. So I'll simply say IP route 0, 0, 0, 0. The next stop is 1.1.1.2 to make sure that uh, we do configure the routing. That's the next part. The same thing on the router 3 as well. So on the router 3 also, I need to do the same thing, two interfaces and one default route. So just confirm that. So I'm not going to disturb this 2.2.2.2, which is already connecting to router 2. The other interfaces, I'm not using them. So I'm not really bothered. And the G0 by 0 interface is uh, being connected on 2.1.200. So make sure that both the gateways are on the same subnet, OK? Now always remember, this gateway and this gateway must be on the same subnet because they are connecting to the same LAN. So finally, if I say show IP interface brief to verify, this is my gateway address. So let's quickly check the connectivity. Uh, I think I need to add the default route. Let me first test the connectivity from the router 3. I must be connecting to the other gateway because this is the interface from where the hollows are exchanged, the LAN interface. And likewise, I should have the reachability to the uh, router 2 link, which is connecting to the ISP. I'm expecting it is connected. So if it is not connected, then most likely there is some issue. No problem. I'll check on the router too. What is the issue? So meantime, I missed out the default route. I will add the default route. Okay. So I'm just trying to use the similar IP what I use in my routing labs. So we need to just make sure that we connect the right interface. So G0 by 2. Uh, the G0 by 2 interface. Okay, this is G0 by 2. Fine. So the interface is wrong, actually. You can see the interface is G0 by 1. And uh, okay, so what I have to do, I have to simply replace. So either I have to replace or okay, I'll say no IP address first. And then on the G0 by 2, I'll replace the IP address 2.2.2.2. I think that way it should work. Either I remove the connections or replace the connections or just replace the IP address. So as of now here, if you see, I'm not really bothered about the other one because I'm not using that. So G0 by 2. So just confirm we do have reachability. Now these things are very important. You know, the prerequisite setup that's going to take some time. But generally, you will have this setup in the production network, which is already running. So you test them before you start implementing. Okay. So I think it's working, the connective interfaces. So I'm able to reach out the, the LAN other gateway. I'm able to reach out the ISP, the WAN link. And well, let's move to the router 2 and quickly finish off the router 2 as well. So on the router 2 also, I'm going to say show IP interface brief. On the router 2, I'm not really bothered about using other IPs. These are the two IPs which I require. And these are the loopbacks which are pre-configured, the loopback interfaces. We can just create any number of loopback interface for testing. Like you know how to create the loopbacks with the simple configurations. Now, what I want is, I want to do the routing, right? So we need to make sure that we have the static route back to the LAN. In the real scenarios, this will be for the public IP. In the real scenarios, if you remember in uh, the section NAT I discussed, uh, there will be a default routes. And from the ISP, there will be a static route for the public IP because there will be NAT configured on these interfaces. So I'm not exactly doing this setup right now because our topic is not more on the NAT. As our topic is more focused on the HSRP, I'm not mixing that one but definitely i'll be doing that in the later on laps probably i think when i when i get into the switches l3 switches the advanced lab i'm going to show you that as well so as of now we'll just stick to this because our intention is to test out the this one so we need to add both the sites because from wherever the packet comes it's going to simply route the packet so just add the default static routes without any uh ad values so just stick to the this one and make sure that you save the configuration so that whenever you start the routers, 
uh, it will have those configurations already. Uh, hopefully, uh, this is perfect. Now, the next thing we need to configure the host. Now, getting back to the VPC, so the VPCs, any one VPC is sufficient for us to, you know, uh, to verify. Now, VPCs are just like a normal uh, PCs. You, you need to assign the IPs. Uh, just we can assign the IP address, we can assign the gateway. Now, the, the good thing about this VPCs is it's going to uh, give a very basic, you know, uh, basic way to test it out a computer. Because if you add a router that requires additional resources, so adding the VPCs, because it's a very simple uh, device. So you just need to power on the device and you need to use the command called IP space, whatever the IP address, then submit mask with space, whatever the gateway address. So right now I'm going to test with my physical gateways just to confirm this is the IP address. So I'm going to give the IP address as 192.168.1.1 and I'm, and I try to ping. I, I did the ping just now. You can see I'm getting a reply. And also I'm trying to ping to the other gateway. I'm getting a reply. And also I'll try to ping to my 12.001. You can see I'm getting a reply. So basically you can use this command. So I think Tracer also should work. There should be a command for Tracer as well or trace route. So trace route again is not a command. Just tell me, I'll check that. Now, as you can see, there is a command called trace. So these are not the regular commands which we use on the routers or on the PCs. So that's the reason you don't need to really memorize these commands. Even I don't, but uh, because I just need to know this, you know, whenever you say trace, it's going to show you it goes via the first gateway. So what I'll do is I'll change the IP address. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say that the IP address is going to be 1.1 and the gateway is going to be 1.200. This is basically to test my gateway. So now again, already I have given the IP address, so I cannot repeat that. So I need to change the gateway. So the gateway address I need to change. So you can use question marks to check if I can use any gateway option okay so okay let, let's keep it as it is so the first gateway is working now you can see if you want to change the gateway you just need to reconfigure that actually the the mistake what i did is i was uh, thinking of the routers i used ip address command that's what the mistake it should be ip okay now these commands are not really important in the real scenarios because you can just ignore this and then in the real scenarios, we use the real PCs and the real routers. So typically these commands are a little bit different, but that's okay. Uh, good to test it out. And likewise, once you change the gateway, if I'm getting a reply, this basically confirms that even though I assigned the gateway address to 1.200, we're able to still reach out. So this is the prerequisite. So we need to make sure that we do the basic setup and uh, make sure that the user sitting in the LAN uh, will be able to access this from this gateway. When I give the gateway a physical, this gateway, it should work. Likewise, I remove this gateway and I assign this gateway. So probably that should also work. So both the gateways should be working. That's what I'm expecting in general. Okay. So this is the basic prerequisite setup uh, you have to do. And likewise, if you are, if you want to do the same thing on the other VPCs, you can still use them. As of now, I'm not going to use them. Uh, just I added the devices for you to understand that the, the structure, what we see here, it is more uh, like a LAN and this is more like a real internet and ISPs. And these two middle routers will be simulating as if they are my, they are my gateways. Okay. Now, either you can use this on the EVNG. Now, this is the lab, which I just did on my remote server uh, on the EVNG, or even we can use the GNS3 as well.